But if you enjoy the gay sex in your videos, I wish you the best. I'm happy for you. If you don't, then I am a gay man who feels ill. Uh, I've been getting this one for a while now. That was kind of the basic premise of this channel originally was talking about how much shit I would get for dating trans women and people calling me gay. And it's kind of funny that, like, for some people at least, a Santa Claus-like mythology of belief <laughs> has sprung up around, like, me being straight. Um, dude, I'll just be objective. If I saw somebody else that does what I do for a living, yeah, I'd probably think, like, yeah, that person's gay. I mean, to me, I'm not, like, a super prudish guy. I just call it like it is. There's nothing wrong with that. Just be honest. Uh, to be honest, I think, uh, like, straight men who are dating, you know, biological females who get pegged by those biological... That's a gay act. That's pretty gay. Um, it, it doesn't mean, like, you are a gay man, but there's something gay. It's definitely a gay act being done, and there's nothing wrong with that, but... Some people get so lost in, like, that distinction of why it's not, and dude, who gives a fuck? And, and I don't even say that as some, like, transcendent, like, oh, I'm above gay and straight. Like, no, I just know that, and I'll get into why in this video, what I do for a living, but I just don't have that need to defend it anymore. And quite honestly, like, if you're over the age of 20, you in like out of high school, you shouldn't have that. Oh, I'm not fucking gay, dude. That's like a very sad thing to have. Like wh whatever your thing is, you should, as long as it's <laughs> you know, not hurting anybody, you should kind of just go with it. And I don't mean necessarily be super open about it, but doing all the weird shit of hiding and denying, that's what I don't like. Anyways, let's get back to this letter. I have been a fan of your YouTube videos for a long time. I just found your straightfelon.com website tonight. Through my excitement, I felt guilt. I always believed you were straight. In my heart, I still do. Honestly, I joined your straightfelon.com page because I'm a gay man and had a desire to see more photos of your physique, clothed, not naked. Seeing you perform with men caught me off guard. I felt awful. I really like you. I think you being free enough to show off your physique is amazing. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I feel bad for you. I thought of you as a friend. No, I'm not living in a fantasy. And this is pretty much what it comes down to. And I've had many YouTube comments that basically suggest the same thing. And what it's saying is that, you know, on my website, let's get it out of the way, I perform sex acts with other men and the basic message people say is you know if you're actually gay in your heart then that's awesome that's a a wonderful thing but on the flip side if you really are straight as you purport then that is awful and what they're really kind of hinting around at this i think is the idea that if you are having sex that you don't enjoy that that is equivalent to the big R word, the word that YouTube does not like. And I, I, I think that's, dude, that, first of all, what a slap in the face to anybody who's actually been through anything. But I, I don't know, maybe, maybe people do get caught up in that idea that I can grit my teeth and bear it through something that's uncomfortable and that, you know, sexually I don't like for a high value payoff than, I don't know. So if, if somehow it feels like uh, a certain core belief is being challenged or something regarding consent and sexuality, because people get very fierce. I ain't no shit, mother. I don't even know no shit. Like the words they use, like the, I, this is the phrase I get a lot. Are you okay? Are you really okay? That's like one I've seen. Uh, come up a few times in messages expressing concern about uh, me doing gay for pay. And this is like not an uncommon thing, especially in bodybuilding specifically. And I don't purport myself as like a bodybuilding YouTuber or nor am I trying to go into, you know, fitness YouTube. I'm just a dude who's in pretty good damn, pretty fucking good shape for my age. Uh, 
it's not an uncommon thing for people to do this uh, in that industry for supplemental income. It's changed my goddamn life. I live on my own for the first time ever. Anyways, let's get back into it. But if you enjoy the gay sex in your videos, I wish you the best. I'm happy for you. If you don't, then I am a gay man who feels ill. Jeez, the way this guy's talking, you would think I was out there with the male hustlers waiting to get victimized by John Wayne Gacy. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are a god I lust over. I want you to be happy. Seeing what you do on your straightfelon.com website made me want to hug you. I just so hope you are happy. You know, as much as I appreciate the accolades, uh, and I really try not to let this stuff go to my head. Um, I don't need to be walking around the house thinking that I'm a god, you know, with my wife. That's not going to be great for my marriage. Um, on the other hand, you know, I don't really try to make these videos like inspirational or powerful. Like I try to make them entertaining and I try to show off enough of my body and personality to get people to be like, Hey, I'm going to go to that guy's website and drop a little, I want to see that he's entertaining enough that I want to see that, you know, I'm not moving mountains here. Um, I have not done any fundraising. Um, I'm I do a lot to give back. I, uh, I built a school, uh, K through eighth grade. This is simply a little fun little channel. I like to have fun here. I tell funny stories. Uh, I, I, it's great that people take something out of it. I just want people to laugh. I would love nothing more. You know what the comments I really like are the people who are just like literal fans that like listening to it like almost as a podcast. They listen from beginning to end on like the ride to work or something like that. Like that's really cool because that's what I do, man. Like I have my own shows and I and I love that. I don't... Uh, you know, I don't know. It just kind of trips me out when people <laughs> lay a guilt trip about, you know, what I do for a living on me. Because unfortunately, YouTube alone does not pay the bills. If I were to tell you, um, God, for every YouTube dollar I make, I would bet probably 70 on my other platform, straightfelon.com. And the money I've made from this has changed my life. Success to me means having a dog and the free time to walk it every day. And now I got two of them bitches. And I don't feed them none of that Purina puppy chow bullshit anyways. No offense to anybody who does. I get them the $4 a pound luxury shit. And, no, 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 that's potty. and don't even get me started on my local Walmart. I'm something like the mayor around that place. I once told the manager if I saw a shoplifter attempting to flee, I would personally tackle them to the ground. I refuse to let my local neighborhood Walmart become like one of these places you see on TV getting looted. And the manager urged me to please not do that, but that's probably just some corporate bullshit they make them say. And while I could say this is all due to gay for pay, really it's uh, thanks to the generosity of my fans, I thank all of you. Um, you know, I kind of traded in my former identity into you know, a, a guy who goes on YouTube talking about gay for pay. Uh, thankfully, my former identity wasn't worth too much to begin with. But it is, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. It makes family gatherings a little awkward. Um, yeah, sometimes the drive home from filming that stuff is a little bit quiet for me. A, mo a moment of quiet reflection, <laughs> you know. But it's been totally worth it to achieve financial independence and finally feel like a grown man. And I don't care how many people laugh at it, but to be able to support and help my family and loved ones is absolutely priceless to me. It's the best feeling in the world. So I really just wish people would break out of this dichotomy of thinking, you know, I, I actually do enjoy what I do on camera, which would make me a liar to all of YouTube. So that kind of grinds my gears. Or I'm putting myself in a situation where, you know, by having sex, I don't really want to have that that is somehow, you know, almost like a non-consensual type thing. Because it, cause here's the thing. What makes gay for pay sell is the fact that it's uncomfortable for, for the straight guy. That's that's the whole the, the part of it. You know what I mean? So obviously that's going to be a factor to it, but it's not. It's not like people are getting off on like seeing some hardcore trauma. Every job is essentially an exchange of time for money. 
And when you have a record like mine, usually the exchange is a whole lot of time and work for very little money in return. And with Gay for Pay, I invest a very small amount of time that is extremely uncomfortable in exchange for exponentially more money and more importantly, more free time to spend with my family. And I'm not like in some vulnerable position to do this like a real victim. So to draw like comp comparisons that it's something, uh, you know, traumatizing is both unfair to the work and, and to the real victims. And let's be honest, there, obviously there's an element of being uncomfortable during that sex. That's, it's, that's why it's gay for pay. That's the drive. That's the niche of the, I don't even want to really call it a fetish, but that's what drives it. You know, I, I remember in the 90s, there was, you know, a lot of movies and there's this whole about like straight guys banging lesbians. And it was kind of like a, a cliche to be like a huge a fantasy. Uh, you, you know, I don't really hear that so much nowadays. But uh, I think there's an element of that too, the exclusivity, like, be, like uh, you know, being the only one to do that uh, along with, um, you know, the uncomfortable newness factor. I don't think the people that get their jollies from it really expect the person to be like oh wow never mind i like this and get like super into it like I, I people understand it what it is and what it isn't and with that said i would like to thank all of you for sticking around for this video um i got another one planned soon and as always like follow i'm going to try to get more active on my twitter which is straight felon and as always check out the website www.straightfelon.com thanks